it's time. It has been two years since I built these shelves and two years since I kicked off my YouTube channel and it is time, the time has come to rearrange the shelves, a full rearrange. Uh, <laughs> I am running out of room in certain places, mainly adult fiction, mystery and comic books. So I arranged this loosely by genre and my reading habits over the last two years have pushed certain genres to their shelf limit. So what I'm gonna do is take everything off the shelves, dust them. Can you hear the rain? It's pouring right now, which is good for my yard and good to do something inside during the summer. Anyway, I'm gonna take everything off, dust the shelves, and then rearrange everything again. I have a loose plan here. So right now it is uh, reference material and history books up there along with my Harry Potter hardcovers displayed nicely. Um, and then I have classics and poetry and plays here. Uh, adult fiction here going from fantasy to contemporary or non-fantasy. <laughs> and then I have uh, a little bit of fantasy is stuck up here as well. And then I have non-fiction. Then this is young adult going from fantasy to contemporary. Down here is middle grade. Uh, mostly fantasy, mostly fantasy middle grade. And then I have comics and graphic novels and manga moving into mystery over here. And then the whole bottom shelf is TBR. So that is going to change. <laughs> So up at the top, we're going to have reference history, old textbooks, and classics is going to move up there. Maybe. Maybe this will work out. Then we'll move nonfiction to here, and then we'll have adult fiction and mystery taking up these two shelves. Comics are going to move here, and then this shelf here is going to be young adult to middle grade. Bottom shelf is still going to be TBR, but I might change it from a loose rainbow to height. I might I might arrange it by height. We'll, we'll see how this goes and how long this takes. Am I gonna finish it all in one day? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I have uh, a box here for all the tchotchkes because that's what we're gonna have to take off. We, like you're helping me. Uh, that's what we're gonna have to take off first is all my tchotchkes and I have my step ladder because I'm short. But also I want to talk about the shelves themselves. So I built these myself with the help of Timmy two years ago. And like Timmy helped when my carpal tunnel couldn't like get the screws anymore. And we also figured out like where the studs are and there's a void behind here because that used to be a window. So that was a whole thing. Uh, but these shelves are made of walnut, which I got from a place that reclaims wood. Uh, from like trees that have fallen down in storms and stuff. So I got walnut at a really great price because it was reclaimed, so good for the environment and my wallet. And then the brackets came from Home Depot, I think. And they're just uh, like Rubbermaid metal brackets in black. And then um, I stained with just like a clear sort of, it's not matte, but not like shiny stain either. It was one of the ones in the middle. So, um, not stain. Shellac? Finish? Whatever. I <laughs> finish the shelves with this clear, not stain. Uh, whatever. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The, um, the coating. <laughs> Lacquer? No, that's not right either. I don't know. But it's like a clear halfway in between shiny and matte and I did that and put it all together in this configuration and now I'm kind of wishing that I would have put some shelves over here too for more expansion but I don't want to cover up the wallpaper it's a whole thing okay let's get into taking everything off of the shelves that's the first first step and I am going to put music over this video and speed it up so I'm going to listen to um, 
Bad Blood on audiobook because I have about two hours left and this has to go back to the library. The audiobook has to go back to the library in like two days. So let's finish this while I do this. Also, Bad Blood is amazing and it's great. You'll hear about it from me after I finish it. So let's go. 2000 data were ancient, dating back to 2008, he said. is complete. I got all of the little trash keys off of the shelf and uh, there wasn't as many as I uh, as I thought. I thought I would find little things hidden in there but it wasn't too bad. Okay, the next step is the big the big one. Take all of the books off the shelves. <laughs> books down. Do I want to take the TBR off? Yes, okay, because I want to dust. Okay, it's coming. It's all coming down. It's all coming down. <laughs> the shelves and also take some Benadryl because I'm allergic to dust and I already feel it. I already feel it in my nose. Alright, so I have to go get a dusting rag and Benadryl. I'll meet you back here. <laughs> Since it's all down, am I about a third of the way done with this? Not half. It's gonna take a lot longer to get all these back up there. Maybe a quarter of the way done. Let's say that. Quarter of the way done. All right, dust in time. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna switch to phone cam for a second here to show you what all of this looks like. So here are the empty shelves, and since you never get to see like how pretty this wood is, I just wanna 
show you that. Like, look at the, the grain in this. I think this one is my favorite, the grain variations here. I love that so much. And I put this one there so I could see it from beneath. And that's the cool thing about getting this reclaimed wood is that it has like all this texture in different variations. And that is just, oh, it's just so pretty. Uh, so here are all the books on the floor and the desk. There's the camera. <laughs> On the tchotchkes, more books over here, stuff on the chair. Um, I'm not touching this here. This is my, um, I got some TBR stuff on the top there, um, an art book. Uh, and then I've got some signed things down there and things that I need to get to that are just in there. And some uh, signed things and old things here and some old uh, tchotchkes, blah, blah, blah. More books on the floor over there. It's a, it's a, it's a whole thing. So, all right, now we can get to rearranging. Logic tells me that I should start at the bottom and work my way up, but I don't really want to tackle the TBR just yet. So I think I'm going to start with this shelf, which I was going to do, what was I going to do? Right, young adult and middle grade on this shelf, which is good because it's all like right here within reach. <sighs> all right, so we'll start, we'll start there. shelf took longer than I expected uh, and I am sure that I will be fiddling with the arrangement a lot uh, oh yeah I don't really like how it is right now but we'll just get everything onto the shelves and go from there
Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to take a break and have dinner. It is, oh yes, dinner time. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to go and have dinner and come back for part two. And we're back. Just had dinner while I was cooking. Spilled grease on my shirt, so I changed it. And now we are tackling the last little bit here in the TBR shelf. Uh, and then... The tchotchkes. That's all that has to be put back on the shelf. I'm going to rearrange the individual books a lot, I think. But at least right now, they're all on the proper shelves, so. Sorted by height. Working on it. And I'm going to switch to music now. Instead of an audiobook. So let's go. some gaps and I'm not exactly a hundred percent happy with where everything is but at least they're all on the same shelves or they're on the shelf that they're supposed to be but I need to do some rearranging like do I like the stack of Harry Potter hardcovers here no I don't <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna fiddle with this for the next forever and uh, I'm not gonna put on any of the decorations until I got the books in a better place. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe I will start putting the, the decorations around. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but this is going to be the end of the video. So uh, I'll just, as a, a little quick bookshelf tour here, show you where everything is. So starting up at the very top, we have reference books, travel guides, dictionaries, uh, language books, writing books, reference books, and some uh, history books there. And then we move into classics so, uh, and plays and poetry and anthologies on the top. And then moving down here, we have nonfiction, which is probably my smallest section right now. Uh, but lots of room there to expand. We're gonna play around with that a bit. Then coming down here we have mysteries, whole mystery series. Most of my mysteries are parts of series, so we have some nice books that uh, are the nice same height there. And then we go into sci-fi and starting adult 
fantasy. And then going down to adult fantasy, we have all of my Tolkien books. And this shelf is kind of the same right now. It hasn't changed that much because it is adult fiction. And then coming down here, we have comics, graphic novels, and manga. And I was able to fit my Oran Host Club box set on the shelf. We'll see if that stays there. I'm not sure if it will. And then coming down here, we have YA, which is kind of a mess in where things are situated. So I'm probably going to fiddle with that shelf the most. So we have YA and then we move into middle grade over here. And then the bottom shelf is my TBR arranged by height. And I like it. I like it arranged by height. That is nice. <laughs> So thank you so much for coming along with me on this organizing journey. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until my next video, happy reading, nerds. I just removed a whole sick of butter. I'm changing lives one pop at a time. Dr. Pimple Popper, season premiere, July 11th at 9 on TLC and TLC Go. What the hell?